Good morning, Svetlana. Good morning. Thanks for uh, coming and for being here. Thanks for your invitation. Today we open Borders uh, International uh, Art Fair. This first appointment bodies plus city skin uh -huh. in uh, the room contemporary art space with the first interview uh, with you and uh, presenting your work. Thank you, because uh, for me it's very interesting. I never uh, so before your uh, exhibitions and uh, I always uh, happy to uh, to see new authors, new photographs, new write, uh, new uh, artists and so on. Uh, for me it's a, a big pleasure. So if you want uh, to give us some information more about uh, you, your artistic production and uh, some words about uh, your work you are presenting today in our gallery. Yes, of course. Uh, I was, no, was born uh, many years ago uh, in Leningrad, uh, now it names uh, St. Petersburg and uh, uh, when I was born there it was a time of Soviet Union, mamma mia. Exactly. Uh, so from my childhood I was dreaming to be uh, an artist, only an artist. I have also crazy character but uh, I think that the fact that I was born there uh, mm, is not um, uh, in, 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 is uh, very serious for me because uh, St. Petersburg is a town of art, great art and great architecture. It's the art, the artistic center in Russia. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Nowadays too. I should say uh, the cultural center and the principally all this town uh, was uh, built by uh, Italian architectures. I know. So, uh, and uh, I was graduated uh, from the secondary school uh, of uh, Academy of Art, but at that moment I was a teenager. Uh, I told that my char character was uh, mad. And uh, after, instead of uh, prolongate like an artist, uh, my studying, I decided uh, to uh, study in the university ancient culture, uh, so ancient Greek, uh, Latin, and so on. And uh, since that moment, I started my big love for the culture uh, Greek, Roman, and uh, uh, Italian, of course. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it was the Soviet period, I could not visit Italy by myself. And after uh, I graduated the university, received my diploma, uh, many years I uh, I again changed my specialization <laughs> and many years I worked like a journalist, uh, writer and mainly TV moderator and author for uh, television, about 20 or more years. Wow. Uh, in Russia? In Russia, in Moscow. In Moscow. In Moscow I changed uh, the town. Moscow was uh, much more active. The metropolis. Yes. So, but after, but, uh, so you understand that about uh, 20 years I was writing, 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 writing uh, and it's normal because uh, Russian culture based historically on the good literature, Tolstoy, Chekhov, Dostoevsky and so on and so on and so on. Uh, it's not visual country, it's a uh, 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 literature center in, in country. I don't know how to tell it in uh, English. Uh, but then I tired of this, and I decided to change in my life everything, and it started in Italy, uh, in Venice, 
because I started regularly uh, come, visit, here. Uh, come here, visit all uh, Biennales of Contemporary Art in Venice and uh, I was uh, uh, I was in shock uh, and uh, uh, the uh, vector of my life completely changed and I started uh, uh, mm, to dream about visual language okay uh, so in and my at that moment in my uh, pocket was uh, very primitive I form uh, four as I remember so it was uh, many years ago uh, it was a primitive model uh, and I started to uh, shoot in Venice a lot and then uh, suddenly for me uh, I received a big uh, personal uh, exhibition in uh, the biggest uh, museum of co contemporary art in Moscow and uh, now these pictures are in collection of private collection of uh, famous great Julian Schnabel so since that moment started my career, career. like uh, uh, what what uh, what about your artwork uh, you are presenting uh, in uh, Borders Art Fair? Can you? Yes, I can tell uh, that uh, I told you that uh, I like Italy very much. I like Venice, and uh, before uh, for a long period, I prefer to shoot mainly architecture, uh, landscapes and so on. But uh, the last period of our common life uh, is a period of coronavirus, uh, which changed completely our, not only our uh, type life. of life, but also our mentality, our relationships with the world around us with the many things around us and with the nature of these things and uh, I think uh, it co completely changed uh, your vision uh, yes uh, not not only mine but uh, all everybody yeah, yes yeah. everybody so uh, I started to make uh, new series names uh, uh, money and lettering hmm. uh, I think that uh, in this situation uh, uh, every person must look uh, inside himself and uh, for me for example relationships between a person and the text is one of the ba basic uh, for everybody because um, the text is a product of our mentality but, but at the same time, the text uh, is uh, the representation of our yes. times too. And also, it's organized our brain, our mind. Uh, it's teaching us. Si. So, our relation with the text are very intimate, and uh, this is practically a. Uh, uh, unlimited dialogue between person and text and time <laughs> and the universe thank you very much Letrana, for your for our meeting for coming here again and uh, enjoy the exhibition today and tomorrow thank you very much thank you you're welcome